Hey Jonesy Babes and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Kelly Price because homegirl made some remarks on her social media and we're not going to waste any time and we're going to get right on into it. Kelly Price slams despicable and disgusting well-known gospel artists and preachers who tried to get her in their bed. And she said, I don't play those games. Now Kelly Price shocked her social media followers during the first week of 2024. 2024, let me tell you something. A lot of stuff has been happening, okay? But then there's a little bit of time. A lot of things has been exposed, you know? It is like, wow, is this what the rest of the year going to look like? Exposure? If it is, I'm here for it. And she, by sharing a startling revelation, now, the former Def Jam vocalist disclosed that she has been approached multiple times by several well-known preachers with indecent proposals. Now, although she asserted that she declined the advances, Kelly Price, who started singing as a child in the church, did say, well, I am not going to disclose the information for free. She also said that she toured with R&B artists and gospel artists. And from what she saw from the gospel artists was was horrible and despicable and disgusting. And she said she was a fly on the wall that saw it all, the behaviors. And she said some of these people are some of your favorites, okay? Some of your favorites. And she did go on to say that she's not giving this information up for free especially the ones who try to get her in the bed, she's not going to give that up for free. She refused to give it up for free. She also said that she is standing on a foundation of holiness that will allow her to see God. Okay? If you hear some noise, my lines are moving because I'm sitting by the window. I'm one of the few artists who have been able to record and tour with both gospel and RB artists. And the lies that they are that are lived by these people that you worship are just downright despicable. Okay. Ooh. She says she's never proclaimed to be a gospel artist. She said, I am an RB artist who did a gospel album. But her heart was broken after seeing how these artists conducted themselves by touring. I saw the things that happened on the road with a lot of these artists. She said, doing, doing shows with these artists, all kinds of stuff. My heart was broken because there was still a part of me that believed that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Now, Kelly Price said that she had a flat on the wall view of the antics of these gospel artists and even some of the preachers by going on tours and doing shows. While being up close and personal, she explained that she was able to see their behavior up close and personal. Punctuating her remarks with a comment about all of the preachers who tried to get her in bed, she said, that's another story. You will not get it for free. I refuse to give that information up for free. Some of your favorite preachers all over your timeline and in your YouTube right now, that if they could have gotten me in my bed or in their bed, they would have. But I don't play those games. She said, F a man, I feel God. I, I hear that, honey. She fears God. I hear that. Now, one ex-user, which is Twitter, screenshot an explosive exchange on social media where the singer went into death about her church background as a preacher kid and her desire to distance herself from the gospel community. Here is some of what she said. Yes, Lord, deliver us from past the holes and, and pedos. Deliver us from self-righteous congregants who send their money to liars and pimps in plain sight. Then come, then come deliver me the nerve you have. I was the only artist slash judge on Sunday's best that wasn't effing someone else's spouse, fornicating or messing with kids and boys, but you have smoke for me? Ooh. 
F out of here, you ignorant church going brain dead a hole. She went in, honey. She went in. My goodness. And if you want to see everything that she's saying, honey, go over there to Twitter and it's all there. It is all there. It is all there. Now, there were some people on Twitter was like, girl, just say the names, okay? And this is the year of the truth. Another person said, questioning the holiness she has spoken about in the video saying preaching and cussing at the same time. Either tell it all or just be quiet. I'm just saying. Well, we know she's not going to tell it all because she wants to be paid. She says she's not giving up that information for free. Now, Price comments about the alleged secret lives of gospel artists and preachers surface and amidst a wave of criticism regarding the merging of the sacred and the secular within their circles. So I don't know if you're following the drama, but I think it's worth looking at and you let me know how you feel about it. Listen, everybody has a right to tell their truth. Everybody has a right to tell their truth. And I do agree, church is not how church used to be back in the 80s. You know, now the churches are much bigger, okay? And I do feel like some of the, the, the preachers and the bishops and the pastors, they are mixing a little bit of that secular sound, if that's what you want to call it. So I to, to will in the, um, the younger folks. But a lot of the old time, Church goers don't like that. Okay. So it's 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 a lot going on right now with the church and the the you know the, not the Christian people, the Christian folks, and this it's a lot going on. It is a lot going on. Bishop William Um Murphy Jr., the pastor of the Dream Church Center of Atlanta, was dragged on social media for hosting a New Year's Eve service with a DJ that played a popular club song, Swag Surfing by hip-hop group Fast Life Youngsters. Now, I did see that clip. It's all over the place. It's all over TikTok especially. And I'm like, okay. You know, what are, what are we going to do? Because he's still going to have his following. We may not like it, but he's not going to get canceled. He's still going to have his following. But it, we do have a right to speak about it, right? So tell me, how do you feel about that? I'm not sure if you guys seen the clip. If you want to see the clip of that, it is all over Twitter, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. You can't miss it. But anyway, let me know in the comment section also, how do you feel about Kelly Price rants? And do you think that this is just a way of her getting attention and to get paid? Let me know in the comment section. Let's have a discussion, and I'll talk to you guys later.